In this video, I'm going to show you how to add this selectable sets and reps box to your template so that when you select a pre-saved set and rep scheme, it will automatically populate in your template. This is going to save you a lot of time when you're doing your programming as it's going to make saving and reusing your set and rep schemes quick and easy. So let's get after it. Okay, so we're back and to start off this video, we are starting off with the exercise template that we created and edited in the last video. So as a reminder of how far we've come, we created these exercise boxes, um, which on the side I have categorizes um, or categories that I can select and I can select my different exercises, but I'm just going to hide those um, back up. And for this video, we're gonna create a way that we can um, recall set and rep schemes so that we can save them easily um, to recall and use over and over and over again. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna need to do is I'm just gonna really have to create an area where we can do that. So in between these two columns here is generally where I like to put it. So I'll just select column H and I'm just going to right click and insert a column. Let's make it quite a bit bigger. And um, I'm just gonna call this set and rep. So that is going to be the area where I select my set and rep. And to signify that that's going to be an area for selection, I'm just going to color code this a little bit um, in a light yellow. And it's not going to show on my sheet because when we go to print or send this sheet, we will just hide um, this column. So part two to this is now that we actually have um, a place where we can recall our sets and reps, we have to create a database of these sets and reps. So an easy way for me to start doing that is if I just copy these headers here, so everything from set and rep all the way over to sort of set five, I'm just going to copy these and then insert a new sheet and I'll basically just paste the values from these. Um, so right click paste values. There is all of the things that I'm going to need to be able to um, fill out so that I can recall it. So what we're gonna do here is I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. So where it says date, I don't really need the date and I don't actually need any of these columns where we would have the weight. So I'm just going to delete those columns. So I'm just holding down control and selecting them. Um, I forgot to hold down control. So I'll just hold down control and select all of them and right click and I'll just delete those. So really this is all of the information that we need. And I'm just going to center this text. So we have our set and rep, which is where we're going to put the actual name of our scheme. So sometimes I just like to call this um, set and rep scheme. And then we're going to be able to save our tempo, our rest, our sets, and then the reps that we want at each one. Now, in order to make this look just a little bit nicer, I'm just gonna highlight a whole bunch of these cells here. Let's go basically A2 all the way down to A30 and across over to I. And I'll basically go to, um, I believe it's under data and maybe it's under format. It's under format. And there's an option for alternating colors. And I'm just going to select that and then hit um, done. And that just gives me now a spot where I can save these schemes and just makes it look a little bit different from everything else. So let's start putting together some set and rep schemes. Maybe we want a five by five um, at a 401 tempo with 90 seconds break. So I'll start to type in those numbers. We want five sets and then times five for the reps. And I'm just going to copy that across. Maybe we want a four by four at a 201 tempo. And let's say 60 seconds break. I don't know when you would ever use that, but just for the purposes of this video, 60 seconds, um, four sets and then times four. And notice I'm putting an X um, in front of my actual sets, or sorry, in, in front of my reps. And the reason for this is if I wanna do rep ranges, so let's say six to eight, what you can see is um, whenever I do a dash in the middle, uh, Google Sheets, Excel, etc., thinks that that's actually a date. And then when I go to recall that number, it's gonna make it really kind of awkward. So um, if I put the X, that just automatically turns it into a text value and it's, it's not a date value. So it's just an easy way to do that. 
So let's do that. Let's go three times eight to 10 at um, a 501 tempo and we'll say 120 seconds break. So let's go 501, um, 120, um, three sets, and then times eight to 10. And I'm just gonna copy that across for three sets. So that is really uh, my different sets and reps. Um, so I've got three examples in there, but really we could take this for as many as we wanted. If you wanted to, you could add basically day one and then do the same thing again for day two and just go through um, this whole process over and over again. It, it's pretty easy. Um, then now to make this really easy, what I'm going to do is actually give this a named range and that just saves me the hassle of having to reselect all of these cells again. So basically I'm gonna take from the top of where this data is saved and I'll go just down to the bottom. If I had lots and lots in there, I could just basically take it here um, and then hold control and shift and basically just take it all the way down the sheet, but I don't really have that much data. So I'll just take this top part here and we'll go to data and where it says named ranges, let's give this a range of, um, let's say set rep data. Um, but I already have one on this sheet called set rep data. So let's call it set rep um, scheme. S-C-H-E-M-E, done. So that is my actual named range. So let's go back to our workout sheet here and we have to do a couple of things. The first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just going to select all of these cells where I want to have my drop down list and I'm going to select data, data validation and we want a list from range and I'll select this button here to select my range. We'll select that um, sheet that we just created and we want basically A3 and I'm going to just leave it at A. So A3 all the way down to A, hit okay and hit save. And if I go back here, I should be able now to select any of those set and rep schemes that we've created all the way through here. And now the only last thing that we have to do is actually create um, the formula that looks up our set and rep schemes. So for that, we're gonna use a VLOOKUP formula. So what I'm gonna type is equals VLOOKUP, open that up. And what do we wanna search for? Um, I want to search for the box where I actually select my set and rep scheme, but I'm going to lock in with a dollar sign the column, um, the actual column, so H, but I don't wanna lock in the row because if I drag it down, I want the row to still update to look at the one in that row, but if I drag it across, I want the column to stay the same. Okay, so we just put the dollar sign in front of the column, comma, where do I wanna look for it? Well, we just created our named range for this, so set rep, if you remember, we called it set rep scheme, so we want to look for that name in set rep scheme, and what is the actual one that we want to return? So if we look back, at our sheet, um, I'll just hide this part for a second. Our tempo is stored in the second one, rest in the third, um, sets in the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, um, eighth, ninth, and so on and so forth. So for um, tempo, we know that it's stored in the second one and then false. And then if I put this um, in, it's giving me an error, but that's because nothing has been selected. As soon as I select one of those set and rep schemes, it's going to return that value. But we also don't want our sheet full of a bunch of errors. So to clean this up, I can just take this formula and I'm going to wrap it in something called if error. So at the beginning of the VLOOKUP, I'll type if error, open this up. And then at the end, if you look, it's gonna ask me what is the value if there's an error. I'm gonna put comma, double quotations, and close that off. And basically what that means is if there's any sort of error, just show me a blank cell. And I'll hit enter and that cleans up our blank cell. And you can see now, as I select the different set and rep schemes, um, it starts to show those. So what I'm gonna do first is center all of this text so that it looks a little bit better. And I'm just going to drag this formula across. Okay, and you can see it's always showing me 4010. I'm not gonna have one under the weight, so I'm just going to delete those out and I am um, going to want the rest, which is now in the 
third column. Enter. This one for sets is in the fourth column. Enter. Whoops, that didn't go in. Fourth column, enter. And then we have fifth column, enter. Sixth column, enter. Seventh column, um, eighth column, and then ninth column. So we're just updating the formula to return the value that we actually want. And what you'll see is as I change my set and rep scheme, if we only have three sets, these ones remain blank. So from there, because of how I've set up my formula where I've blocked the column but not the row, I can drag this down and I should be able to select a set and rep scheme anywhere on my sheet and it should automatically update. And this is pretty easy because I can enter a new one down here at the bottom if I wanted, call it Dave's Awesome Set and Rep. And let's give it a tempo of 999, rest of um, 2000 sets, let's say um, five, and then we're doing a thousand reps. And what you'll notice is that one's still available and it will automatically pull in those values too. So it's really quick to just add a new set and rep category or scheme to your actual sheet. Now, the last thing I wanna to do to clean this up is I want it to look like how we had it before. So I'm just gonna copy one of these ones I haven't edited yet. So copy and I'll just right click paste, paste special, but I'm only going to paste the format. So it just puts all of the lines and things back to where they should be. And I'll center all of this text and let's just bold it to make it look a little bit cleaner. I'll delete all of these. And then the last thing um, is if I go to this H column right here and I go to view and use the group um, function, I can say group column and it just gives me this little button here at the top that I can toggle this on and off. So if I was printing my sheet, I would toggle it closed, but then when I want to edit it, toggle it back open, do my editing, and then close it back off again and all of my sets and reps still show up. Okay, so I hope this trick helps you out. Um, if you follow along with some of the other videos, you should have a pretty functional um, workout template now. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.